In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of installing WordPress onto your Cloud Sites account. Let's go ahead and click on the hosting button and then Cloud Sites. We'll go ahead and use an existing domain we already have on the system, moso-test.com. So we'll click here. The first step is to head over to the Features tab and let's create a new database for this WordPress install. As you can see, I have a couple of other WordPress installs under this particular domain, but we'll go ahead and uh, start from scratch. Let's we'll call this WP for WordPress. MySQL5 is fine. I guess we have a database with that name already. Let's go ahead and call this WP underscore demo. Create the database user. And as you can see by this icon here, this uh, status is pending. It's going to take just a minute or two to generate that database. In the meantime, let's head over to the WordPress site and download the latest copy of WordPress. We'll get everything uncompressed here. And then back to the control panel, we can head over to the general settings tab and grab our FTP information and then start uh, uploading this content to our file system. Fire up any FTP application you like. Well, on the Mac, I'm going to use Yummy FTP, but uh, that can be uh, any FTP app of your choice. You also have the ability to use FTP or Secure FTP. If it's a production site uh, and your FTP application supports Secure FTP, I would definitely recommend sticking to that. So here we're logged in. Let's go to the Moso test domain, web, and then our content directory, and let's create a new folder. Go ahead and call this demo. Come into our WordPress directory here. And then simply upload a copy of all the files. Let's go ahead and check on that database while that's uploading. Uh, the database is fully provisioned. Wor uh, WordPress WP underscore demo. If we click on the database here, uh, we'll see the full database name as well as the internal host name for the MySQL cluster that this database is created on. And this is what we will use in our WordPress uh, configuration files. As you can see, the upload is completed for uh, all the WordPress files. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab. Go to moso-test.com slash demo. WordPress needs to create the configuration file initially. We need to enter the database name, so let's come back to this page here. Enter the database name. We made the username the same, and then put in our password. And then for the database host, as I mentioned, you'll use this internal host name that points to that cluster. Simply copy and add that in there. Add any particular table prefix you like. We'll leave that as a default. And it's as simple as that. Our WordPress installation is now finished. We can grab the ad admin username and password and go straight to the login page. Oop, need to spell admin correctly. And then we're logged in. We'll create a test post and visit the blog. And it's just that simple to get WordPress installed and up and running on the Cloud Sites platform.